The only way we can ever succeed is by visualizing failure. We look at the most likely thing to go wrong, and now let's give it a shot. Right now, high above our heads, there are six people effortlessly floating weightless on board a spaceship. And it is the direct result of someone having a crazy idea and then doing a huge amount of work to incrementally build something. It's easy to have a big idea. It's even easy to have the technology that supports it. The real hard part comes down to the people. If you raise the bar high enough, there will always be people who change who they are to try and get over it. It's complex and demanding. The ship doesn't fly itself. Things break all the time. And that's really why you are a professional for that moment. Not for when everything's going easily, but how have you prepared when you are faced with the next set of unforeseen circumstances? What do you do next? It's amazing to go around the whole planet in 90 minutes. If you get the chance, it is a great ride. I really highly recommend it. If I spill my water here, it's just kind of boring. Probably not even encouraged, I guess. But if you spill your water on a spaceship, it floats around like this pulsing jellyfish. It's important to remember that impossible things happen. Failure is where you learn everything. If you've just been crossing your fingers, then you are not ready. No astronaut launches for space with their fingers crossed. That's not how we get ready. Exploration of ideas is necessary for development. It is absolutely critical because we got some serious problems to solve and we need every little bit of brain power we can get. We are all the product of this society that supports us, that, that has given us the opportunity to build and succeed and turn ourselves into somebody different. And we need to be able to do that with our young. Thanks very much.